The Vanarama National League South starts here. We have made a number of transfers. We've lost some people. We've gained better people, I think, in theory. Anyway, we've definitely missed out on a few names that I would have wanted to get, but I think as a whole, we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, before we get into absolutely every change that has been made and have a bit of a look around to see, you know, who's who in Zoo and who's in this league, who's, I don't know, come up with this, come down from league football in two seasons. I don't know. But, uh, whatever. Before we get into it, make sure you leave us that down below. Subscribe if you your idea. Comment what you think of the video, think of the series, the team, the transfers, the, all of the above. Let me know. Let's get into it. First things first, let's have a look at the league table as it is here on your screen. And look, it doesn't uh, really excite me too much looking at it. Um, I don't really know much um, other than Plymouth Parkway were in our division in the first season and they must have, I guess they got promoted in the first season and they've stayed up, which is really good because that's a really nice looking bench. Um, uh, also coming up with this was Hungerford. Um, Hungerford who, I mean, at one stage, geez, that's a slim squad. Is that real? That can't be real, can it? How do I... How, how can they possibly have a squad? The point of coming here was, um, if, if I can find it, maybe it's in, is it in released players? Jesus. Uh, Owen Casey was there, um, who we had previously had at um, Chesham, and then he went to Grays, went to Hungerford, and now he's at Hastings. Are they in our division? They're not in our division, I don't think. Anyway, um, other teams, um, Hazen Yeeding got promoted in the first season as well, so they've stayed up, so also pretty good to see. Um, the main takeaway from it, I mean, it's weird to see Barnett down here because I just I remember doing a season as them on um, FIFA, so it's weird to see them down. I mean, it's only two divisions down, isn't it? Season preview, we're actually looking decent. Okay. I think that's gone down, though, because we definitely started out Ooh, my personality's casual. That seems like an insult. Um, when we first got promoted, uh, I think it had us coming fifth or likely to come fifth or whatever predicting us to come fifth. Um, but, you know, that's that's decent. I'll, I, I mean, I'd absolutely take us ninth, a uh, ninth place position. Um, the thing that, uh, like, scares me about this division, and it's going to take me a second to find it, so give me two seconds. It took much less long than I thought it would. Um is the, like it said the, you know, it, had, it sent this through. The, you know, who's going to be the best player in the league. If we look at Jack Jenkins, who's playing for South End, who we're playing today. He's very good. Like, that is insanity. How was he this good? I don't understand. I'll compare him to, like, just one of our holding midfields, which obviously there's a lot of new players here, but... Dinesh Galila, who was here last season, so you you know how about his quality. Um, this fella's better in everything by a bit. Like attacking, he's better by nine, by five. Technical by four. Mental by four. At defending by two. Physical by three. Just aerially, he's a bit short. That's worrying. If you look at the attributes, look at that. Hmm. Worrying. That's scary because he's he looks very good. Um, they also have I saw his name and I just assumed he would be a goalkeeper. I don't know why. Um, very good still, just very good. He does. Oh, they've just been relegated. That might be why they have such good players for this level. And um, what about this fella? See, that's getting there. That's closer to our level, I think. But he still looks quite good, doesn't he? Dominic Revan. Yeah. Also. Anyway, that's why. Well, anyway, let's get to um, players who have come in left. You know, all of the above. Um, look at this. We've a lot of people have left. Um, so Tom Walters gone now. I think we all sort of knew that that was going to happen because he didn't play too much last season. Last season playing only 16 games in all competitions, only 11 times in the league. Um, and he was rubbish. Bradley Clayton has left. He's still a free agent. So someone could go and grab him, but he is actually the club's all time leading scorer. So, um, uh, to have, you know, said goodbye to him. We're pretty sad. Um, yeah, I think he's got 82 for the club or something like that. So sad to see him go. Um, Stefan Wright went. He was there for one season as very much backup and played four games off the bench, I think. Um, also leaving, Reese Jones. I'm happy to see the back of him because he was rubbish. He was pissing me off. Um, because he would just complain all the time about not playing. And then if you look at his last season, an average rating of 6.41 in the league. Why would I play you? Why would I ever play you again? Um, 
other people leave. These are all just uh, youth players, basically, like people from the Youth Academy, um, except for Shaquille Hippolyte Patrick, who was a decent player for us in their first season. Um, as you see here, getting 14 assists in all competitions, but then last season, barely played, barely got a sniff, and uh, we are better people. Anyway, um, also released um, people at the end of last season. None. What? Yeah, none. It, that's different. What's Joshua Kutcher doing now? Playing for lose. Hope he does. Um, no one else there is interesting. Anyway, um, as for players who have come in, this is where we get started. Uh, none of them are here because that's this season because we got all our business done at the end of last. Um, but you can see Sam Cornish, he was in the first in picture. He's gone out on loan um, just because we've got better people than him. And I think we already have, um, like even with loaning him out, still have five holding midfielders for the two positions. So he can go. Um, the other one of note, like the three of these, Halabi, Scott and Yu Anderson are youth products. Um, Akeme Francis Burrell is a, like an exciting prospect. I mean, he's got, Good potential as you see here. He was one of the ones we signed from Wolves, I think. Um, if we look here, whoop. If you look here, yeah, he was from Wolves um, and then came to us, didn't actually play because for the most part, he hasn't actually been able to play holding midfield. So we haven't had a spot for him, um, but now we can. So after a year on loan at Arshelton Arshel Athletic, God, I don't know how to say that. Um, he'll be back, that's it. Um, other transfers, um, None of these are recent. These ones will be. Here we go. So, players that we've signed. Jack McDowell, Dylan Mitchell, Liam Jones, Callum Whelan, Ethan McLeod. Let's have a look at him. Jack McDowell. Here he is. Central defender. No photo, which is great. Um, worth up to about 10k, apparently. Um, it looks decent. Um, probably fine. I don't know if he's going to be that good or if he's going to just fit right in with the quality we have. Don't know. We'll see. Um... Who's next? Uh, Dylan Mitchell, also from Aston Villa, another for the holding midfield brigade. He's I like him because he's quite good physically, but then he also has some mental things that are quite good, like decisions and determination, so he's not going to be, you know, uh, screwing up passing too often, but if he does, he's determined to get it back, so it's we'll hope that he does good things. Um, and work rate's good, stamina's good, tackling's good. See how we get on. Um, next up, whoops, one on one. Can we, there we go. Uh, Liam Jones is next from West Ham United. He, look, I think he just looks exciting. He's 18 years old. He's on a non-contract. Uh, so it, basically if someone else comes in with an offer, like of a contract offer for him, he can just go, that's fine. Cause we're not really too excited about him, but good pace. That's, that's literally it. That's all he's got. Cause he's not good at finishing. I'm training him as a forward because I think that's probably where we'd want to use him using that pace. But at this point, it's it's a prospect sort of thing. Like if he approves, if he, you know, gets chances here and there off the bench, we might sign him to a longer deal. But at this point, see if we give him a chance. I don't know. Um, next up, Callum Willen. He is a holding midfielder. He looks quite nice to me. Um, uh, look, he'll do a decent job. He doesn't want to play for Solihull Moors for some reason. Oh, they dogged him. That's where he was last season he was there or oh, the season yeah last season he only played nine games so now he's po'd and doesn't want to go back there all right um anyway he looks yeah again quite good like fine probably about on par with Dinesh Galila who we looked at before maybe uh if we go here and go where is he that is not him that is not him that is someone completely different here we go Galila uh, overview, um, yeah, pretty even. Like, Galil is a little quicker and a bit a bit better in the air, but then Callum Whelan's better mentally, technically attacking and in vision. So, you know, maybe a good combo. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the last one that we have brought in is Ethan Cloud. This is a striking option, a backup striker to Higgs, I'd say. He's like that other fella I was just looking at um, that I've already forgotten the name of, the fella from West Ham except he can finish. So he's got 12 acceleration, 12 pace, which is good for this level. 13 finishing is very good. Decent flair, off the ball's only eight, work rate's only six. So things to definitely work on, but looks quite good to me. If we look at his history, he was in the same division as us last year, scored 27 goals. So, 
you know, he hopefully can translate that to this. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not confident. Anyway, this is what it looks like, though. If we go to squad planner, if we look at bang, this attack, this one. This is, uh, ignore T works because he was on loan here. He's on loan here. He's on loan here. So ignore them. <laughs> so T works, Riley and Isco, um, works, signed for someone else. Riley signed for someone else. And Isco, I think, is still on trial at the club. So we'll hopefully be able to sign him if we can afford him. Um, this is what the depth looks like, though, at this stage. And you can see why I'm looking at, um, that Anisco or whatever it is, however you say his name. I'll probably say Anisco because got a very limited vocabulary um yeah this is what the squad lineup uh, blah, 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 squad depth is looking like my goodness um i'm pretty happy with it as it is um we'll take works out of there because he doesn't want to sign for us i think he ended up signing for like a league one side or something so i'm not sure we ever could have competed um yeah same really the same team like a lot of the same players like hud will start most games um we've still got avenal bates cook mabete um Jojo is down here, then the new boy McDowell, um, who we saw just before. Then in midfield, Peck, still the club captain. I think the vice captain, oh, vice captain Hesketh, I think, who we managed to keep hold of, which is sensational. Hopefully, he continues to, I don't know, be decent. Um, we also managed to keep hold of Higgs, despite his, you know, for, I don't know, the latter half of the season, basically saying that he was never going to sign another contract. We've got him on another contract and uh, it also has a optional one year extension, so probably take that, depending, depending on how he goes, I guess. Um, Javade's still here, Oli, German's still here, Burnett, Page, Williams, everything else is the same, and, and you know, we'll see how we get on. Um, as for the tactics, like it's still, ignore the lineup, I haven't looked at it, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> the, the tactics I haven't settled on yet, like, the the only difference here between two and three up here is the one of them is when we think that we can dominate and we want to control the possession this one is the um more whoops um defensive counter-attack based one i guess so it, mm, this is probably what we're gonna we're gonna pay a bit more of and i think we're gonna go with it today against south and united who've just been relegated they're probably one of the favorites to go back up Let's, um, let's actually head to the lineup, I think. So this is what we are going to go with. Um, of course, it does look a bit funny that we do have this much going on in the, um, not even in the, on the bench. Um, but I guess we do have an extra four fixtures this season. Um, of course, with the league now being 24 instead of 22. Um, and hopefully be, you know, going further in, um, cup competitions or just as far as we went, basically. Um, just as far in the Isuzu, further in the FA Cup. In theory. Anyway, um, this is the lineup. It's Hudding goals, back three of Cook, Joseph, and McDowell. Midfield pairing of Peck, Captain Peck, and uh, with his sensational haircut. There it is. Um, and then <laughs> Peck and Mitchell. Um, across attacking midfield is Javade, Hesketh, Page, and Olalai with Higgs up front. Bench, we've got Beeson, Galila, Williams, McLeod, and Billy Bates. Um, ben, the, the, not even on the bench is a lot of people. Um, it sort of sucks, but you know, here are the this are the lone people. He's a central midfielder or defender, right? He looks very good. He looks too good for us, I'd say. Um, so I doubt we're going to be able to afford him, but hopefully. Um, the other fella is an Anis Aniskyo Anisko. I'm going to say Anisko. Um, again, looks fairly, fairly good. Um, maybe about on par with playing like I don't know Hesketh and Javade and. I don't, know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can sign them. Um, if they want to, I don't know, take whatever wage we can actually afford for them. Because money is rough this low, and when you're not playing as, you know, Manchester City or RB Leipzig or something, um, it's quite tough down here. Um, all right, here we go. First game in the Panorama National South. I'm not expecting points today. Um, I'm expecting probably a loss. Um, but we'll see here we go. It's good to see like a, a stadium that has a second tier. It's good to see that we have away fans out the back here. Um, as there they are in the background. Lovely, lovely to see. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah. Oh, the first game of the season. I'm not fussed. If we lose this, obviously it'd be great to win. Obviously it'd be great to, you know, uh, just fly through this league and, you know, back to back promotions, blah, blah, blah. But let's probably be realistic with it. And with our funding, with our, um, 
you know, stature as a club, um, I'm not going to be too, I don't know, surprised if it's a, you know, mid-table finish or a lower mid-table. I don't know. Here's the first highlight. Heart-stopping moment. My God. Um, I nearly went to say HUD-stopping moment. Corner for South and United. Nearly went back into our own net. It is, though, Clifford headed away by Jojo. And that oh, was the end of the highlight. I'm trying to get rid of it having the league table. So I would have had that for last video when we won the league, but I don't need it. Proctor all the way through, scores straight away. All right. This isn't good. This is not good. Yeah. Um, that's about what I was expecting. Let me know how the camera looks as well, because I don't know. I've been playing around with some settings and stuff, um, and, you know, it looks all right. This a long ball. I don't know why whoever that is, Cook in central defense, ran beyond Proctor. I don't know why we're so high up. We're supposed to be playing the deeper line. But, my God, not a good start. All right, pause the damn thing. I don't want to see no league table. I want to see our terrible, terrible pass map. Can I have a look at how high our defensive line is? Low block. Trigger press standard. Trap inside. Drop off more. There we go. All right, try again. Here we go. Well, not again. Let's, you know, you know what I mean. Go again. That's what it says on my wrist, uh, if you can see it. Anyway, um, another. I'm scared. Another highlight. Joseph clears it. They win the header, maybe. Oh, this isn't going to be good. I feel like we're just getting slaughtered here. Joseph header away to Mooney. Terrible header. Long ball to the other side of the box. And we've given away a penalty. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. This is, this is just marvellous. Absolutely marvellous start to the season. Why do we have to get drawn against Southend? Like, couldn't we have got... Oh. All right. Well, HUD saves his penalty. Um, just hit it straight at him. Um, couldn't we have got, like, Hazen Yeeting or Hung Hungerford or something? Someone that we've played before that's around our level, not... This team that's clearly much better than us. Um... You know, like fire up, like, like gas, but I don't know. I don't expect much to come from this. Um, here's another highlight. Proctor on the ball again, crosses it far post for Mooney, headed away. Clifford gets onto it though, off the bar. Oh, Hud gets there just before Proctor. Yeah, Proctor. Um, bloody hell. Oh, another highlight. It's just, I don't want to, I don't want to be a part of it. You know, I don't want to do any of this. I just want to skip through this. Like, I am I wish I could have, you know, skipped to, like, a few games into the season so you didn't have to see this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. She'll be right. All I wins the header, heads it back to year four. If it's the same one, used to be at Wolves or something. Uh, who's taking it all the way out right, crosses it in towards Proctor, wins the header over the bar. Cool. All right. All right. If we don't get thumped, we're probably pretty content, I guess. Um, we've had a shot. That's good to see. There has been five highlights or six highlights, and they've all been against us, but that's fine. Long ball from someone. Doesn't get anywhere near Proctor. Hud now lobs it forward. Higgs not getting there, but he might win the second one. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to come up against, apparently, teams that are just absolutely way better than us. Page to Hesketh. Hesketh, play him through. Go on. Go on, Javade. Go on, son. Go on, son. Um, freaking, what the... Yeah, what am I supposed to do? What? He suffered a cut hand. I don't give a crap about your cut hand. You shouldn't be using it anyway, you plonker. Um, all right, I, I, I can't even say that I know. Like, I can't be angry at them because, uh, like, what else am I going to expect from them? Um, I can just sort of say, look, man, you guys are doing a great job, I think, probably. Look at the fan base compared to ours. We have, like, our... Average crowd was less than 400. Now look at this. Clifford in the box. This is surely 2-0. No. Off the bar again. Oh my god. Higgs, you legend. Run with it. Run. Run, my boy. Plays it to Javade. Surely not a highlight for us off after they've just hit the bar. No, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, it would have been good. It would have been nice, but yeah, it's for probably pretty uh understandable that we haven't done anything on that occasion. Um and I can't even really... HUD's having a 7.4, so that's that's promising. Um, Lifford with free kick from an age out. Had a terrible header from Eofora, but Hassan gets there. Back to Co Coca. 
All right, Oli Goka, absolutely just stunner. Just beautiful, beautiful goal. Um, let's make some subs. Let's get Dinesh Kalila on there. Let's get Billy Bates on there for Cook. And let's bring another new bloke. Why not? Ethan McLeod can get on, have a bit of a run, and um, we'll all move on with our lives and never speak of this again because it was sort of... Why has he done that? To pass it out for a corner. Um... Yeah, it, mm. I was never, I wasn't confident and I, I, I think being realistic is probably the way of putting it. Here is a highlight though, Javade with a free kick, which is probably like 10 free kicks or something. Not a bad effort, not a bad effort, all things considered, I'll take that. Um, Let's, I was going to say let's throw caution to the wind, but I mean, let's just, all I'll do is hit early crosses and float them. I think, oh, and maybe take long kicks over the opposition defence just to see what we can do. I don't know, maybe two nils not bad though. Right? Am I am I nuts? Two nils probably a fine start to the season. Hopefully we get you know better from here and get accustomed to our surroundings. Clifford with a free kick, headed away by Joseph, but he Devade tackles it back into one of them. McLeod on the ball, back to McDowell. Looks long for Higgs, doesn't win his header. Coca to Jenkins, good ball over the top for Mooney. They are slick, they are better than us. Joseph clears it across goals because he's an absolute maniac. Petrie in the box. Penalty, McLeod on his debut is giving away a penalty. Oh, God. All right, well, it was never going to be anything exciting. I appreciate that we have this many fans at the ground. That's, that's probably the positive... Nor Hassan, I swear he was in... No, I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of someone whose name was closer to Anus. It was like Anus Nur or something. Anyway, penalty, mm, plonks it straight down the middle. Uh, HUD. You know, it's, it's fine. He conceded a penalty. I'm not going to be mad at him. It's fine. Um, all right, well, 3-0. It's Yeah, that was probably what was going to happen, isn't it? All right, well, not the perfect start to the season, but we're, we've got 45 games to, to save it. So, look, we've got plenty of opportunities. Let's look at the positive sides in that way, I guess. Um, anyway, let's come back in a couple of months. Um, next video will be, you know, October-ish, probably late October, maybe. Um, and, and we'll hopefully have, you know, come to terms with it, be doing a decent job and um, not be in the relegation zone anymore. Anyway, let me know what you reckon about the uh, the team, the signings, the tactics, all of the above. Do I need to change the tactics because we're in a high league? I don't know. You might know. You might be better than me at this because I, you know, as you can see, can, not perfect. Anyway, that's all. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. That'll do us. Peace.